Have you ever been outside when an aircraft flies overhead and you find yourself wondering, what kind of plane is that? Where's it coming from? Where's it going to? How high up is it? Well, if so, today I have a cure for that itch. Watch this. American Airlines Canadair Regional at 3,100 feet heading southwest 19 degrees southeast from Charlotte, NC to Birmingham. Now this somewhat needless yet somehow interesting flight information comes from a clever program called FlightAware. It installs easily on a Raspberry Pi and uses a $20 USB connected SDR gadget, software defined radio. Well, back in Utah, I showed how to use an SDR to record your and your neighbors gas and water usages. Unfortunately, the utility companies in Alabama don't have that enabled on their meters, so I repurposed that same SDR to track aircraft. Now, almost all aircraft are required to transmit something called ADSB, Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast. It includes a lot of flight information like the tail number, the location, the altitude, the speed. For flight aware uses a companion program called ADSB Dumper to collect that data from anyone who has an STR that wants to run their software. They then aggregate all that data and share it globally on flightaware.com. I plugged my STR into a Raspberry Pi that we have already running up in our treehouse outside to track outdoor air quality. It worked okay indoor as well, um, but outside it has a much better view of the sky, a few obstructions, some trees. And that little antenna was able to find planes that were up to 100 miles away. This is what my Raspberry Pi FlightAware web interface looks like. These are the flights that my SDR is tracking, sorted by the distance they are from our house. And this is an example page of the aggregated data on the FlightAware.com webpage. There are a ton of planes out there. Now to get that real-time announcement when a flight is overhead, I coded up a node red flow that calls the FlightAware API on my Pi every 10 seconds. Using a geometric formula that calculates the closest distance from a point, our house, to a line, the aircraft flight line, it calculates when and where the plane will be closest. If it's below 10,000 feet and within 20 degrees of overhead, it gives an optional plane will arrive in XX seconds announcement. Now while it's waiting for that plane to arrive, the next step in the flow is an API call to the flightaware.com database to get some additional information that is not broadcast on the ADB signal, like the model of the plane, who owns it, and where it came from, and where it's going to. This is where flightaware makes its money charging a bit less than a penny per query. I cache almost all this data locally to minimize APA calls. So my monthly flight aware bill is usually about a dollar or less. Now the last step in this flow is the announcement for when the plane is overhead. This TTS link goes to a text-to-speech flow that does all the announcements in our house to the various Sonos boxes and or to my cell phone, depending on where I am. Here are a couple more examples of planes flying overhead. So I just got this notification. It's pretext. This is in 81 seconds. Over there, heading that way. American Airlines Airbus A321 heading west at 28,000 feet, 2 degrees south from Charlotte, NC to Dallas, Fort Worth, TX. Okay, let's go find this guy. North. That's straight up, so that's north. Southwest Airlines Boeing 737 to 700 descending at 3,500 feet heading northwest 17 degrees northeast from Las Vegas, NB to San Diego, California. 
Delta Air Boeing 737 to 800 descending at 4,600 feet heading west 19 degrees north from Atlanta, Ghana, Birmingham. DNAMP, I Transportation IAI Gulfstream heading northeast descending at 4,800 feet 0 degrees southeast from Birmingham to Boonville, Baldwin, MS. CHAMP 34A7 heading west at 3,700 feet 8 degrees north from Montgomery, Al. Skyhawk leasing Cessna Skyhawk heading southwest at 3,900 feet 15 degrees southeast from Birmingham. Now I've had this for a couple months now. Eventually it might get old, but so far it's been perversely fun. For you drone flyers out there, this might be especially interesting. There's a 400 foot above ground limit on flying drones. And this seems really high up when you're flying. I and mean, I'm always worried about other aircraft. Our house is at 600 feet altitude. United Airlines Andre 175 ascending at 6,700 yes, feet, sir. heading southwest 13 degrees northwest from Birmingham to Houston, Texas. Hello, Texas. Uh, our house is at 600 feet, so that 400 foot limit puts my drone at about 1,000 feet altitude. And I feel much more comfortable now uh, that I see almost all aircraft are well above 3,000 feet. The lowest I've seen so far is a medical transport at 1,500 feet. Now, it'll also be interesting to see if and when uh, delivery drones get going, if they have ADSB or coolant broadcasts. Now, hopefully if they do, they won't broadcast unencrypted destination info as that would lead to a whole new level of package thievery. So if you want to play with this, I exported my node red flow link below. Feel free to ping me if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.